MN20 is a complex Mars simulation. We are having six carefully selected analog astronauts, including one Israeli in the flight crew, who are mimicking the first steps of our society on the Red Planet. They're coming here with robots, with rovers. So we're actually mimicking the search for life on Mars in a very, very conscious manner with 21 carefully selected research experiments, which are cutting edge at the top of their field. And so uh, you just look around here within like a you know, 20, 200 meters radius, you see here technological prototypes that are not available anywhere on this planet, but here in the Magdash Ramon. It's a simulated mission to see how we can live and potentially one day go to Mars. This project is really big. We have 210 researchers from 25 nations that are participating. So for about this month of October, Israel will be the center stage of Mars analog research, I can tell you for sure. We're having here the most modern and most complex analog research ever built. So that's something really Israel can be really, really proud of. I love to be the, the Israeli of the team, hosting my crew in my home country. It feels great. Uh, we're looking forward for this mission. We've been training for a long time now. We're looking to do some meaningful science and to take us one step closer to Mars. If 100 years ago people uh, sailed up in ships and, and discovered new worlds, so we are the shipbuilders for this generation. Uh, we help pave the way for this exploration. We have a geological Disneyland in a way because there are so many fantastic uh, structures we see here in the, in the Magdash that we say uh, we don't have to travel very far to have a variety of different uh, geological structures. But I also have to say this was not the only selection criteria. Uh, we found that uh, the innovation culture in Israel and the hospitality of the Israeli Space Agency were so formidable that we just said we had to come. So it's been four years now in the making and we really have to extend our sincere gratitude to the people of uh, Israel and especially the Israeli Space Agency. They're doing a fantastic job.